Now we're heading live to Japan to meet an incredible man, Kenji Sakeni, the CEO of United People, an exemplary activist and a long-term supporter of Peace One Day. Let's speak to the man behind Peace Day Japan 2023, Kenji Sakeni. Hello, Kenji. Good morning from Tokyo. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, would you be able to tell us about yourself and your journey? My name is Kenji Sekine from United People, uh, President of United People, and uh, we focus on film distribution and film production. Uh, we focus on only on global issues. I think I believe in the power of uh, films because film can touch people's heart. And when they are touched, uh, they are make actions, and their actions can solve problems around the world. I believe, and I'm also a one of the directors of Key Stay Foundation in Japan. Thank you so much for that. And um, you've been a great supporter of Peace Day and Peace One Day. Um, can you tell us the story of how it began, um, and tell us of some of the kinds of things that you've been doing over the past few years? Yes, thank you for asking. Uh, so. My encounter of to Peace Day is actually when I visited the UN headquarters in New York. I was uh, ran randomly picking books and uh, DVDs at the bookstore, uh, at the United Nations bookstore. And one of which, one of them was uh, Jeremy Gilly's uh, documentary, That Day After Peace. I was really thrilled to know the process of making the, the peace day and uh, I was really really inspired by his action and it was so touching it changed my life uh, and I, I was uh, so highly motivated to uh, spread the word uh, and it was uh, 2010 almost nobody knew about peace day so I decided to make the day after peace Japanese subtitles and uh, to show it as many people as possible in Japan, uh, especially students. And then uh, I started a film festival for students in 2011. United for Peace Film Festival, that is the name of the film festival. And we just had the 13th year edition uh, just a few days ago. And so that's the second project I have I've been doing. And then when I was holding uh, UFPFF, the United for Peace Film Festival, uh, I met uh, I met so many incredible people, like-minded people in Japan, who wants to uh, spread the message of peace. And one of them was Mr. Takashi Inoue, and we founded Peace Day Foundation together. And from uh, 2018, we started Peace Day Festival in Japan. Right, such incredible work all the way from 2010 to 2018, like we're so grateful for, for all of that. So can you tell us um, why peace is so incredibly important um, to you and the teams that you work with and of course for the people of Japan? I feel personally, people killing people is not right. It's insane and I, wa I want to stop it. There should be no war in the world. And why is it important to Japanese and Japan? Uh, because uh, in the past, we experienced so many wars. During the World War II, uh, Japan uh, invaded many Asian countries and fought with many different countries. I feel strongly that we, we made people suffer so much. And at the same time, uh, Japan suffered as well by the two atomic bombs in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. And so uh, as a country which is uh, fully aware of the tragedy of war, uh, I feel strongly that uh, we have a responsibility to spread the message of peace. Incredible. Um, so apart from the work that you're doing, you were also a distributor for Peace One Day Films. Um, can you tell us um, why that film was so important to you and what is it to you that you're manifesting with these constructive narratives? Uh, yes, I, actually, I haven't uh, been speaking about my journey, uh, how I started really uh, think about making peace. Um, when I watched The Day After Peace, which Jeremy, Mr. Jeremy Gilly made, I, I felt that I haven't started anything. 
Um, like Germany, I haven't been to Gaza Strip in Palestine. I met uh, devastated people who lost homes, uh, who have no opportunity of work, uh, not enough water, electricity, everything. People were losing hope. Uh, I was a student when I visited Gaza, which was uh, 1999, uh, quite a few uh, decades ago, two, two, more than two decades ago. And then after watching The Day After Peace, I, I felt really strongly that uh, there's a, if you have strong passion, uh, commitment to uh, make a dream come true for a peaceful world, one person can be uh, act, uh, have a great uh, impact to the world. So that, that, that's when I realized, okay, maybe I can do something as well. And so I started making more actions and I, I, I felt I should commit more. And with the film, with the documentary, The Day After Peace, I was bringing many, many young generation people and they are touched as well by the message. And people started to feel, maybe I can do something too. So that's how many people started to be engaged, 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 and uh, peace they started to be known. And uh, many actions have been made, uh, donating donation to NGOs or anything. Any action matters. So uh, I, I'm bringing, bringing these messages, people, together by this documentary and the other documentaries I, I uh, distribute. Right. Um, so to follow on from that, what um, is your vision for Peace Day, um, both in Japan and globally? What do you want to see happen and how can people support you? I, I, I mean, I will be continue using the power of film. And like today, we have music concert and we set uh, Peace Day week this, week this year as well from September 15th to September 21st. There are many, many different kinds of uh, Peace Day related events happen, happening now, like uh, showing movies, discussion, live music. And what I want to do, I, I'd like to engage more and more people. And, uh, and so also I have a, we have a one dream, which is uh, to make Peace Day as a national holiday of Japan. Right. Um, so I just heard that you also went to um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki with Jeremy a few years um, ago. Um, how did that specific um, journey or that specific trip help to raise awareness um, for peace? The journey uh, that I, I asked Jeremy to uh, come to Tokyo and other places, including Nagasaki and Hiroshima, that was uh, so meaningful to me as well. Um, since I, I knew that Jeremy's grandfather uh, experienced uh, Nagasaki bomb, he was in uh, island of Kyushu in Japan, Fukuoka, which is the place I live now. Uh, he was, uh, his, his grandfather, Jeremy's grandfather, was a prisoner of war in Japan. And his grandfather saw the Nagasaki bomb went off. And in September 1948, uh, 45, uh, he uh, went back to London uh, through Nagasaki port. So that's why his poison is poisoned. And so the journey that, that we took together, meeting uh, a bomb survivor in Nagasaki and also Hiroshima, uh, and especially the moment, I, I, I cannot forget the moment when uh, Jeremy and I and uh, the first generation bomb survivor of Nagasaki old, old lady and third generation lady, uh, we sat together and uh, a bomb survivor lady said, I am so happy to meet you, Jeremy. Uh, after the generations, uh, we were fighting in the war. Uh, England and Japan was fighting before, but today we became friends. So she said, Jeremy, please come to my house and stay anytime you come to Japan. So there was a moment that we all cried. And yeah, so he was broadcasted at uh, NHK in Japan. And uh, so many people 
uh, learned the story for the first time that Peace Day is related to Japan or Nagasaki. Right, wonder, wonderful story. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, and now for the individuals out there, um, what words would you say to them to encourage them on their journey um, towards peace and making the world a, a much peaceful place? I really believe the power of the one plus. Uh, you, you are not, your power is not small at all. You, and if we are connected, it becomes stronger and stronger. So uh, let's be united. Uh, we can do a lot of things together to make the peace, um, to the, the make the world more peaceful. Right. Thank you so much, um, Kenji, for joining us all the way from Japan. Um, yeah, we're, we're so proud um, of the work that you're doing and of being such a wonderful supporter of Peace One Day. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm honored to join. Thank you.